Hello, hi, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are all blessed tonight. I pray that you have had a blessed day. Hallelujah, happy Sabbath. God bless you, how you doing? Um, this is a serious, serious subject that God actually, uh, I stayed up all night just talking to the Lord. Hallelujah, I'm not complaining. I'm talking about God. Um, he gave me a lot of hard things to talk about. Um, I want to talk about something about Christ. The condition and state of the church is they don't know God. We have a generation that does not reverence God. We have a generation that do not know God. We have a generation that do know how God don't know how God operates. And God was telling me that's because the leaders have not done what they're supposed to do so i'm going to talk about some hard stuff in this one i pray let me go ahead and say it right now i'm not trying to offend anyone but i must say what god have called me to say in this hour in this time god is not playing i need you to understand what i'm getting ready to say God told me to tell leaders, everybody, it doesn't matter high, low, whatever. If you are in the body of Christ, this is a season to stop playing. God say, stop playing. God say that we have so many people talk about God is a God of love. God loves you. And yes, he is. But God told me to tell you tonight that he's also a God of wrath. Hallelujah to his name. He said, I'm a God of wrath, Deanna. He said, I'm not like man. We have a people that don't respect the men and the women of God. And that's because of the leaders. The present day leaders have not reverence. So now we have a generation that really don't know how to reverence God. And they don't want to hear that. Okay, I'm going to touch on some things. So let me go ahead and start touching on it. And I'm going to tell you what led up to this. There's a pastor that was pleading. And I'm just going to have to be very real. Again, I apologize. Don't take it personal. It's only kingdom business. They were talking about Eddie Long. And they were saying, do not say this, do not say that, do not. And I understand where he was coming from. But God told me to tell y'all that you have to remember. Oh, come on, somebody. Go on a journey with me. It's called handlers in the body of Christ. And what I mean by that is, these are certain leaders that... They teach young leaders that's coming up the game. They teach them how to operate. It's politics in the pulpit. Oh, come on, somebody. Oh, come on. I I'm going to go deep with this one. Stay tuned. Trust me. You know, um, so anyway, I'm going to start. Do you all remember the man of God in the, Bi in the Bible? It was 1 Kings 13, 26. It was a prophet. And I'm just going to kind of like paraphrase, paraphrase the story. God sent him on an assignment and God said, after that assignment, I don't want you to eat or drink in that town. As a matter of fact, I just want you to go. So what God did is God sent a lying prophet to him. Understand what I just said, a lying prophet to him. And the prophet said, I'm a man of God too. Catch that. I'm a man of God too. God says, come back with me and eat and drink at my house. And he did that. And so the Lord allowed the lying prophet to test him. So what ended up happening is the man of God, while he was having dinner, the lying prophet then got into a spirit of the Lord. And at this time it was real. He said, because thou hast did this thing and came back with me, a lion should meet you out in the street and should ring you. So God allowed that prophet to get killed by that lion. And when people passed by, the false prophet would, I mean, the lion prophet would tell him that was the man of God that was disobedient. I'm going somewhere with this and I need your attention. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going somewhere with this. God said that was the man that did not obey God. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. That's one story. The second story was Gehazi, and he was the servant of Elijah. And Elijah had healed a leper. And they tried to offer him something. And Elijah said, I don't want anything that you have to offer. I healed you. God bless you. Go about your business. Again, I'm paraphrasing. Because 
what y'all don't understand is everything is a covenant. Y'all be accepting stuff and then you wonder why your household and everything is going delirious. Y'all don't know about covenant and you don't know about spirits. But anyway, let me stick to the story at hand. So Gehazi thought, I can't believe it. Elijah's not going to accept anything. So what he did is he went and he met the man named was Naaman. And he said, um, my master say to give me what you were going to offer him. And he did. But what he didn't know is that God was going to tell the prophet, Elijah. And so when he came back, Elijah said, where have you been? And he tried to lie. You know how they try to lie. Long story short, Elijah said, the leprosy that was on him should fall on you. Because God didn't tell you. And I didn't tell you to go get that. That's the second story. The third story we all know very well. And that was Judas. Judas betrayed Jesus for money. Pieces of silver. Then after that, he went and hung himself. And do you know to this day, that is called the field of blood to this day. No one stays on that land or that property until this day. Do you understand that that's cursed land? Now, I paraphrased all that to say, if God is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore, what makes you think? That men and women of God can do what they want to do without repercussions, without anything happening. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all got to stop lying to people. I see so many messages. God is a God of love. God is a God of love. And I'm not saying he's not because there's a foundation of love. But if you read the same Bible that I'm reading, God is a God of wrath. And I'm telling you what God told me to tell you, people. He says, stop playing with him because he's still the same God. I'm going somewhere with this. There's politics in the pulpit. Bishop Eddie Long. Bishop Eddie Long had been, been doing what he was doing. And I'm going to say it, and some people are not going to like what I'm getting ready to say, and I really don't care. I'm going to say this thing the way God said to say it. Bishop Long was under Bishop T.D. Jakes. So I'm going to leave some things with you. Why didn't Bishop T.D. Jakes set him down and tell him to stop doing what he was doing. So the repercussions that he is actually going through right now, that's part of Bishop Jakes too. Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all not going to like me tonight, and that's fine. I really don't care because I'm going to break this thing down for you. What happens is these seasoned saints, they pull the young prosperous, the ones that they know that's going to be high or they're going to make them high because all of this is a game this is politics it's who they like who can bring in money who who the people like who can preach with power oh come on, somebody y'all on here and they bring them in under their wing and they teach them so say the game oh come on somebody and then when they don't fly straight they don't say nothing to them as long as they bringing in the money as long as nobody knows but god said he see you oh come somebody i'm going deeper with this stuff tonight so what I'm saying is this, you got a lot of handlers in the body of Christ. Now handlers are really in Hollywood. These are people that try to cover up what's going on. Y'all not going to like it, but I have to say